Scandinavian Bob here, hi. Today we are going to talk about technology's impact on the brain. Those of you who have been following me for a while know that I often talk about the reward system in our brain and how it can become desensitized if we overtax it with dopamine spiking stuff like for example alcohol, sugary junk food, online adult entertainment. But what about social media and internet itself? Is it powerful enough to cause desensitization? Well, the short answer is yes, but before you freak out, pay attention here. First, we have to make it clear that desensitization is not an on or off thing. It happens when dopamine receptors become downregulated and this means that if we take 100 people out of the population, some of them are going to be just mildly desensitized while others more severe. In other words, some are more desensitized than others, so to put it in a simplistic way, if you look look at the screen here, the lower down, the less dopamine receptors you have, and then here in the middle is about what a normal healthy brain has. So it's not an on or off thing, but more of a scale. And if you are really healthy, you can even go above normal by doing things like cold showers, intermittent fasting while trying to avoid super stimulating stuff, and so on. But back to technology, how do you know if your internet use is causing downregulation of your dopamine receptors. Well, to be honest, most of us are probably desensitized to some degree. I'm sorry, but this is just a price we have to pay for living in today's modern world. But remember the scale. It's not like you go all the way down just by normal internet use. But even with normal use, like browsing on Facebook, for example, you keep getting those small dopamine hits because you got a notification that someone responded to your comment and normal use day in and day out will probably give you a small down regulation and that is precisely because of those dopamine hits so are there ways we can use internet in order to minimize this yes there are and if you remember only one thing from this video make sure it's the following words are you using technology or is technology using you for example, if you go searching for some information online and you find it, then you were using technology. If you go on Netflix and you watch a whole movie as a way to entertain yourself, you were using technology and that's all fine. However, if you go on Facebook and you get dragged along and you end up aimlessly browsing, you know, oh, a new update, who has liked this picture, oh, what's over there, and so you go over there and see something new, and that in turn leads you to somewhere else, and before you know it, you have spent 90 minutes aimlessly browsing, well, then you did not use technology, but technology was using you, and this is more desensitizing than the first example. Another example of when you are being used is when you go on Instagram and you happen to see a hot fitness model and instantly it grabs your attention. And so you go watch for more of her pictures and you get completely dragged along by your reptilian brain. So much so that it now needs even more stimulating stuff. So you open an adult website and there you start watching hardcore clips. And while you are watching one clip, there are suggestions under the video that looks even more appealing. So you start clicking on them, consuming all only about 20 seconds or so of a clip. And then you again go to another suggestion. Well, here too you are getting dragged along. And here too technology is using you. And by the way, this example with the adult websites is the worst one because it keeps your dopamine levels sky high for so long that it really has the potential to put you far down here on the desensitization scale. So the point being, the more you are in control Control, the better it is for your brain. Here comes another phrase for you to remember. Whenever you react to stimuli, you are not in control. And when you are not in control, you are not happy. So from now on, every now and then ask yourself, am I the one in the driving seat or is my smartphone sitting there? And the more you are a slave to it, the quicker you'll become desensitized. So watch your favorite YouTubers. Search for educational stuff. 
use it to learn and grow and that's all healthy and there is also nothing wrong with using it as pure entertainment but then make a point of watching that specific page or specific movie and then be mindful about it and then don't start drifting on to other pages that you did not plan to go to because it is in that very moment that you are leaving the driving seat and technology starts taking control over you. Another thing you can do to help your brain from getting desensitized is to take a complete rest from internet and your smartphone about one to three hours or so before bed Time. This is something I personally do. In fact, my rule is three hours before bedtime. <laughs> I call it Operation Blackout. And it's a sort of intermittent dopamine detox where I spend the last three hours of my day being as mindful as possible. You know, where I read physical books, meditating, and just spending time with myself and my thoughts. And you know what? I can honestly say that since I started doing that, I have noticed a big increase in my baseline happiness. Alright, I hope you found this video informative and if I ever helped you in some way and you feel that you'd like to help me by giving a little something in return, you can always buy me a cup of coffee. It's a one-time fee and a 100% secure donation system. So if you'd like to support my work, you can find a link to it under this video and if you choose to buy me a cup of coffee, then <laughs> thank you so much. Alright, this is Scandinavian Bob signing out for today. Consider subscribing for more helpful videos and as always I wish you all the best in your journey to become the strongest version of yourself and remember as Winston Churchill used to say if you're going through hell keep going